we can start the chapter indices already we give you some basic maths or basic ideas of maths that already given to you the addition subtraction multiplication and types of numbers decimal numbers that operations addition subtraction like that now we can start the chapter indices already you know the order indices indices means normally the you can just take and explain suppose the counting numbers 1 2 3 4 5 like that that is normally considered as natural numbers or counting numbers together zero with a zero that is considered as whole numbers w h o l e whole numbers and uh, together with negative part also negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 that is considered as indices okay suppose like this normally when we draw a number line like this here zero on this side we can mark positive numbers 1 2 3 4 like that on this side we can consider as negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 like this okay now this is known as number line including indices because zero 1 2 3 4 and this side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 that will move that together known as indices okay when we move from left to right it is always increasing the value because 2 is more than 1 3 is more than 2 like that when we move on the direct right side the value will increase when we move on the left side the value decrease okay when we this we comparing minus 1 and 1 which one is the larger one minus 1 and 1 because 1 is the larger one because 1 is right of the minus 1 right side okay one of the point is like this one when we comparing these two numbers this is greater because right side is there when we consider 2 and minus 3 suppose 2 and minus 3 which one is greater 2 is greater one because 2 is the right side right side value always greater when we comparing the left two numbers okay when we move from left to right that the value will increase move from right to left on this direction it will decrease okay so well, these numbers are known as indices just i can give just you consider this number line the second mark it has no numbers is there the second mark the alphabets a b c d e f g h i j k like that remaining is also there okay total 26 alphabet is there the second mark some only there here therefore a b c d e f g h i j k up to k only right here we need to find out the value of each alphabet the second mark here the second take c as Minus five. This I can take C as minus five. That only given here. C as minus five. We need to find out. Okay. Then this you can find out answer. What is H? Then H denotes what? C just I can consider as minus five. Then what is H? Just you can think S. H is equal to just we can move like this on the right way. That is minus five. Minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. That is, H is considered as zero. Okay. Then, what about F? What is F? Again, minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two. Therefore, F is considered as minus two. Then, A. What is considered A? A is here minus five is there. Move on this direction. Therefore, minus six, minus seven. A is considered as minus seven. In based on this, we can fill all this. What about K? What about K? K means H is actually zero. Then one, two, three. For K is considered as three. One of the point is given. We can find out all the values. One of the point is given here. C as minus five. We can find out the remaining also like this. Okay. Now we can add, subtract like that, or compare. Just we can comparing first by using the equality and inequality symbol. Okay. Compare. So first of all, just I can give you like this: minus three seven. Just so you can put the symbol less than or greater than like this. That symbol we need to use. Minus three and seven. Second question. Minus seven and minus nine. 
third question 8 10 fourth question minus 3 3 fifth question 4 minus 4 <coughs> 4 minus 1 when we comparing minus 3 and 7 which one is greater greater one 7 why just to consider a number line just to consider a number line minus 3 on this side 7 is here like that we got therefore 7 is greater 1 therefore we can put like this the greater symbol always like that then here when we comparing <coughs> minus 7 and minus 9 minus 7 and minus 7 we consider a number line minus 7 here then move minus 8 minus n move on the left side on the left side means that will decrease therefore minus 7 minus n we can put the symbol like this because minus 9 is lesser one the greater always that symbol okay therefore greater is minus 7 here 8 and 10 that already you know 8 and 10 which one is the larger one s 10 is larger one therefore like this we need to mark okay then minus 3 and plus 3 minus 3 and plus 3 just you got the number line 3 is here 0 then minus 3 minus 3 here therefore minus 3 is less than 3 is more the 4 and minus 4 4 is greater you got the idea which one is larger like that comparing negative and positive numbers both are negative one is positive another is negative and both are positive anyway you can consider which one is larger one okay you can compare like this it's clear okay now Now, just we can add and okay, just we can add or substitute. Before that, I just can give you the additive inverse. That one one of the term like we give you that is additive inverse. Before that, okay, additive inverse. Additive inverse. Additive inverse means just to change the sign. That is known as additive inverse. After addition, we got zero. Okay, additive inverse. Therefore, the first one just I can give you additive inverse of additive inverse of 3. Additive inverse of 3 is considered as minus 3. Just to change the sign. Additive inverse of 3 means answer is minus 3. Second question, just I need to write like this. Just I can write like this additive inverse of minus 10 additive inverse of minus 10 what's the answer positive 10 just to change the sign only two symbols sign is there negative and positive question is negative answer becomes positive therefore minus 10 answer you can write 10 only no need to write plus 10 this 10 only right and third one just you write like this additive inverse of 1 by 3 this is not an integer just we can find out 1 by 3 that is minus 1 by 3 it is not an integer 1 by 3 okay therefore just I can give you the additive inverse additive inverse of minus 5 what is the answer 5 additive inverse of minus 5 that is 5 then one more additive inverse of 103 additive inverse of 103 what is the answer minus 103 just to change the sign question is positive answer becomes negative question is negative answer becomes positive like that we need to consider for additive inverse of 103 is considered as minus 103 is clear now we can consider the addition and subtraction like that okay positive and negative numbers addition of integers just we can done okay addition and subtraction addition and subtraction addition and subtraction of integers okay normal rule is like this when addition subtraction extra explain when we add two positive numbers just take an explain first when we add two positive numbers answer always positive when we add two negative numbers, answer is negative. 
when we add two positive numbers answer is positive when we add two negative numbers answer is negative that means two numbers have the same sign answer is also the same sign two numbers having the same sign both are positive or both are negative after addition we got the same sign when numbers having the different sign one is positive and other is negative what we done just we find out which number is greater just we subtract from greater to lower then just you find out the difference of that after that put the sign of the greater number clear when we the two numbers is there there with a different sign just we can find out the difference of that after that put the which number is greater that symbol we need to put there that is addition of different types of sign numbers okay therefore just i can explain suppose we need to add add minus 3 and 8 Let's say first I can give you minus three and minus eight. Add minus three and minus eight because the numbers having the same sign. These numbers having the same sign. What we done? Just we add the numbers and put the sign. Therefore, answer we got minus eleven. Minus three, minus eight. We got answer minus eleven. Then second question like this. Add minus five. And eight minus five and eight. Here the different sign is there. First one is minus five, and other one is eight positive eight minus five and positive eight. Different sign. What we done? First you find out the difference of that number. Not consider the sign. Five and eight only consider. What is the difference? Three is there. Eight minus five is equal to three. When we compare in these two five and eight, which one is the greater one? Eight is greater. That is positive. Eight is there. Therefore, answer is positive. Okay. Then add seven and minus two. Seven is positive. Two is negative. Different sign. First, you subtract seven minus two. Answer five. Greater number is seven. That is positive. Therefore, answer is positive five. Therefore, answer is here positive five. Then add minus eight and three. Add minus eight and three. Here the numbers are eight and three. One is negative and other is positive. We need to add. First, you find out the difference of that eight and three. Eight and three. Answer is five. After that, just to check the greater number here. When we comparing eight and three, eight is the greater one with the sign negative. Therefore, answer is also negative. That is negative five. Okay. Add minus one twenty eight and minus two hundred. Add minus one twenty eight and minus two hundred. What we done? Here these two numbers having the same sign, both are negative. Therefore, just you add that two numbers and put the negative symbol. Therefore, answer is negative three hundred and twenty eight. Two hundred plus one twenty eight. Add the numbers and put the same sign. Therefore, minus three hundred and twenty-eight. You got the answer like that. It's okay. Next, thing. use the symbol. Less than, greater than, or equal to. Less than, greater than, or equal to. Okay, for the following, the first two sentences like this. First two sentences like this. Minus eight plus five. 
here a blank after that 8 plus minus 5. The first question is like this minus 8 plus 5 and 8 plus minus 5. The first question is like that. First we can add the numbers here minus 8 and 5 minus 8 and 5. When we add these two numbers what do you got answer actually minus 8 and 5 that already you know minus 8 plus 5 what is the answer? Yes that is minus 3. Over here after addition we got minus 3. Here 8 and minus 5 different sign subtract and put the greater sign therefore here we got answer 3. Here we got answer minus 3, here we got answer 3. Already you know which one is greater here, minus or which, which symbol we need to use, minus 3 and 3. It is equal, it is not possible. One of the symbol we can put, where we put, yes. Here. Therefore, answer is minus this here, we need to put the symbol like this. Clear. We find out the value, addition already you know, like that we can find out and after that you can comparing which one is greater or which one is smaller like that. Okay. <coughs> like this minus three plus minus seven and minus twenty one plus twelve like this we got and what we can consider we need to put the greater or similar minus 3 minus 7 that is both have the same sign if you add it becomes add and negative symbol therefore here we got negative 10 blank is there after addition here minus 21 and 12 minus 21 and 12 what do you got minus 21 and 12 find the difference put the greater symbol therefore 21 minus 12 that is 9 our answer is minus 9 minus 10 and minus 9 which one is greater one minus 10 or minus 9 just to look at the number line minus 9 is here after that only minus 10 move on this direction left to sides therefore this one is the smaller one answer we got like this minus 10 is less than minus 9 minus 10 is less than minus 9 okay <coughs> minus 12 plus minus 3 plus 5 three numbers minus 20 plus 8 plus minus 7 first the question is like this question is like this minus 12 minus 3 plus 5 three numbers or four numbers that is no problem we can add properly okay therefore just we can run like this first we can minus 12 minus 3 minus 12 minus 3 are the same sign add the numbers put the same symbol therefore minus 15 after addition of these two we got minus 15 minus 15 plus 5 different sign subtract put the greater symbol therefore minus 15 plus 5 means you got answer minus 10 minus 10 that you got answer again dash is there minus 20 plus 8 minus 20 plus 8 different symbol is there subtract and put the greater symbol therefore we got minus 12 after addition we got here minus 12 minus 12 minus 7 both are same sign minus 12 minus 7 we can write minus 19 again when we compare in this one minus 10 and minus 19 what we can run which one is greater when we can consider the number line minus 10 here then minus 11 minus 12 minus 19 on this direction move to left therefore which one is greater one here minus 10 is greater one here therefore like this over here also we can put the same symbol minus 10 is greater than minus 19 we got answer like this okay fourth one minus 3 
plus minus 4 plus minus 5 minus 6 plus 3 minus 7 minus 7 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 plus 3 and minus 7 here all are negative numbers minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 all are negative numbers means just we add that numbers okay just we add that numbers minus 3 minus 5 minus 7 just we add 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 12 therefore minus 12 here we got minus 12 there minus 6 minus 6 plus 3 minus 3 minus 3 plus minus 7 that is minus 10 you should think what we done here okay then minus 12 and minus 10 which one is greater or which one is smaller here and we comparing 12 and 10 just listen 12 and 10 12 is greater but negative is just take the reverse of that therefore here like this minus 12 is less than minus 10 minus 12 is less than minus 10 you got the answer like that Okay. Minus eighteen plus seven plus minus eleven twenty one plus minus thirty five plus minus three. Minus 18 plus 7 minus 11, 21 minus 35 minus 3. Thus, that you can run yourself. Thus, you try to do that and you can put the symbol what we need. Okay.